The binary compensation plan is popular with network marketing companies because it does what no other compensation plan type can do. And that is, it pays the upline on an unlimited numbers of levels of downline volume. Does that mean that your compensation plan should be a binary plan? Perhaps and perhaps not. In this video, I will explain the pros and cons of this type of compensation plan. Every compensation plan type has its strengths and weaknesses, just like people. For decades, the mainstay of the direct selling channel was the generation breakaway compensation plan with stair-step compensation. And that plan is fading away like the horse and buggy did after automobiles were invented. Today, new direct selling companies use Unilevel, Unigen, and binary hybrid compensation plans. In this video, I'll share with you the good and the bad about the binary plan. To binary or not to binary? That is the question. So, let's answer it. A binary compensation plan is structurally similar to a two-wide matrix. However, the compensation method for a binary plan is totally different. Unlike other compensation plans that pay bonuses using percentages of a single commission period's sales volumes, binary compensation plans pay threshold bonuses based on the accumulation of unpaid volumes on the left and right sides of a representative's two-leg organization. Binary compensation plans pay to unlimited depth. All other types of multi-level compensation plans pay compensation upon the volume of a limited number of levels or generations of downline representatives. For top leaders, this means that their downline organization will grow beyond the limits of their pay line when they are not paid through a binary compensation plan. Because in a binary compensation plan, there are only two spots to fill on an independent representative's first level of the binary structure. There is spillover. Spillover is the placement of a representative not on one's first level, but instead on the first level of a downline representative in your placement tree. A power leg is defined as a leg that contains significantly more volume than the other leg. A power leg occurs when one of two situations is present. Either your upline representatives are placing representatives into one of your legs, this is spillover, or the representatives in one of your legs are building their businesses much faster than the representatives in your other leg. When a representative has a power leg, he or she can focus on building just one leg of their placement tree, which means the compensation plan is easier for that representative with a power leg. Most binary compensation plans pay compensation weekly, which means people get paid more often than other plans, which may pay most often on a monthly basis. All other types of multi-level compensation plans pay compensation upon the volume generated in a commission period, most often monthly. When a new compensation period starts, the volume generated in the past is irrelevant. With all other types of plans, you get paid only upon the volume generated in each commission period. Binary compensation plans pay threshold bonuses based on the accumulation of unpaid volumes on the left and right sides of a representative's two-leg organization. Unpaid volume this week is the sum of unpaid volume carried forward from last period plus new volume generated this week. Volume is carried forward from the last commission period when a company pays in cycles or when an independent representative has unpaid volume, but only when the representative is active. When a representative isn't active, any volume carried forward from the previous commission period and any volume generated in this period is flushed which means it is removed from the system so that representatives inactive this period won't be paid upon it when they are active in the future. This effect is a golden handcuff. When you are paid through a binary compensation plan, you can lose more than just this period's pay income when you are inactive. Some of your future income may be lost as well. In all other compensation plans, if you are inactive in one commission period, it simply means you are not eligible to earn compensation upon the volumes of other representatives in that period. The damage done to your future income is zero. 
The effect of your inactivity is limited to the period in which you were inactive. Because compensation is calculated upon an unlimited numbers of levels of downline volume, binary compensation plans pay top leaders the most compared to all other compensation plan types. If you wish to attract successful leaders to your company, having a binary compensation plan can be very helpful. Many of the people who have been successful in a company with a binary compensation plan who are seeking a new opportunity will like your company better if your compensation plan is a binary plan. In fact, some of these people won't join a new company without one. Unless you put into place a group of measures to slow down the payout, you will pay out too much. One of the income limiting elements in a binary compensation plan is a cap on the amount of binary bonuses that can be earned for each rank in your pay plan. While your compensation plan chart identifies these limits as maximum binary bonuses, many in the field interpret these amounts incorrectly as how much you can earn at each rank. Curiously, they don't see the amounts as limits, even though that's exactly what they are. Instead, they see them as income potential. So, while you publish these amounts as income limits, many in the field view them as good news, not bad. Isn't that interesting? The suffering of the lower and middle class, that is the bad side of binary compensation. While it pays the leaders the most, lower and middle ranked representatives are not paid as well. While first order bonuses and fast start bonuses can help to raise the incomes of new and young representatives, binary compensation plans have larger deserts, those without adequate sustenance, and hardy representatives must cross those deserts to arrive in the promised land of higher incomes. Like pioneers, many die on the trail. In a binary compensation plan, the volume in your weakest leg determines how you will be paid. This means to get paid, you will need to increase the volume in your weaker leg. The best ways to do that are to place your new personally enrolled representatives into your weaker leg and focus your efforts on helping the people in your weaker leg as well to build their businesses. It is counterintuitive to think of your downline organization as two teams and that you should focus your efforts mostly in helping your weaker team succeed because your representative is based mostly upon their productivity. Balancing leg volumes can be difficult to do. Healthy binary compensation plans include income limits per title to slow the payout down and to encourage the building of more stronger enrollment tree legs. However, in no other type of multi-level compensation plan is there a limit on how much you can earn per rank. This is a negative attribute. Chief financial officers want to have predictable expenses. When expenses are unpredictable, they get real crabby fast. The total percentage of field compensation paid in a binary compensation plan can vary significantly from one commission plan to another. In addition, binaries are famous for their creep, that slow but steady increase in the average percentage of compensation paid out in each commission run. It is very difficult to get the business rules of a binary compensation plan financially right the first time. If you'd like to know why, call me with your compensation plan in hand and we'll talk about it. While steps can be taken to slow the payout down, still it is common for direct selling companies with binary compensation plans to have the need to amend their plans later for three primary reasons. One, the payout exceeds the budget. Two, the plan is paying out too much to the wrong people and not enough to the right people. Three, recruiting and selling activities are below expectations. Do you need help with your binary compensation plan? Sylvina Consulting designs and improves all types of compensation plans, including binaries. We also professionally evaluate and improve compensation plans that are designed by others. It would be my pleasure to speak with you about your plan.